A very warm greetings and salutations, fellow internet users. It is I, EEW, and welcome, welcome, one and all, to my Angry Birds plush collection 2023. So this year I figured we'd try something a little different compared to what we've done for the previous few years, being 2019 and 2022. So yeah, uh, what how this is going to work, I'm going to go through each individual plush, tell any fun facts about it. If not, I will just describe the plush as what it is. So... Starting off at the bottom here, you can't really see it, so... First off, we have a 5-inch red plush with a squeeze me tag and a uh, the second generation side tag. Now, the uh, the interesting thing about this plush is that if you look at the uh, the tush tag, it's actually the, the first generation tush tag. So yeah, that's just a really interesting thing about this 5-inch red. Got it for $2 on carousel. Next plush we have is a Gen 3 blue 5-inch purchased at Toys R Us in 2012. So this was a reward for me when I was 6 years old, when I had graduated kindergarten and was transitioning into the mainstream school system of Singapore. So this is just a little reward for my mom saying, hey, you made it, congrats. And yeah, this plush has been with me through the years, and it is now proudly my main blue plush. So yes, 5-inch Commonwealth blue. And the next plush we have is another 5-inch blue. Uh, this time it's a Gen 2. Nothing too spectacular about this plush, other than I got this blue in a lot with all of the classic birds, excluding Bowles and Stella, if you want to count them classic. So yeah, I got all of those plush from a lot, and this was one of them. $50 for a lot of plush, including an open-beaked howl, which I didn't have at the time. So yes, very, very cool lot. Next plush we have is a Gen 2 Chuck. Now the fascinating thing about this is I actually got this Chuck plush for free because the carousel sellers said their wife wanted to throw it away if they couldn't find a buyer for it. So... They were generous enough to give it to us for free, which I'm very grateful for. So yeah, it's a perfect condition tags. No sound shit, but it's a very, very nice chuck plush. Basically perfect condition. Next plush we have is a... It's a Gen 2 bomb with the sound chip and all tags intact. So yes, it's just uh, it's just another bomb plush, but this is actually the first ever five inch bomb I owned, and it came in a lot with the uh, the green blue cage birds as well as a five inch red. Well, unfortunately, the tag is a bit uh, scuffed. There's a few skid marks if you want to call them. Yeah, the tag is basically a bit uh, roughed up, but it's not as bad as like other tags you see. So it's still okay. Next plush we have is a Gen two Matilda. So likewise with the Gen 2 blue I showed you just now, this was part of that lot as well. It's it's just a Matilda. Now the interesting thing about this plush is that if you uh, shake the, the plush, the sound chip will actually make a little like rustling noise indicating that something's broken in there. And yeah, overall just another regular Generation 2 Matilda. And next up we have the Open Beak Hell! Oh my gosh, so yeah, this is... The main reason I got that uh, classic, that full classic lot in 2019, if you remember the April plush haul, I don't know if anyone's <laughs> remembered that, but yeah, I got, that was a $50 lot. We got uh, Open Beak Cow, mainly it was going for the Open Beak Cow. And yeah, probably one of my favorite plush in general. It's a very unique, very nice plush. Tush tag. Yes. And a basic trend for all of these classic plush. Most of them were acquired from that uh, $50 lot. Some were, some weren't. Next up we have Closed Beak Hell. Gen 2 Closed Beak Hell. So yeah, it's just the open Beak Hell but closed. Uh, last time I tried this in 2019, it still made noise. What it does is the question. I don't want to press it because, yes. And closing off the Hell Trinity, we have a Gen 3 Hell. So yes, the red tag era if we use old terms, the old Maximus Overdrive terms. So yeah, this one was from another lot from Carousel. It was uh, with a few plushes. Some of them aren't with me anymore. I sold them to someone else. But yeah, very happy to have had this plush after such a long time. Yeah, I was uh, missing this updated design of Hal for a very long time, and we have him now, so that's good. The next plush is Terrence, 5.5 inch, I'd like to say. Uh, everyone calls it a 5. I'm just going to say a 5.5 because 
the biggest bird. Uh, yes, Gen 2, same lot as the uh, the other plush. Very one of my probably one of my favorite plushes. It's a very well designed, very well made plush. Got all the spots, got the angry expression. Yeah, overall the biggest bird. And finally, closing off the classic birds. If you want to consider this one a classic plush, it's part of the main flock. So yeah, we have a uh, Gen Four Stella complete with tags. Now, sadly, the tags aren't in perfect condition, but they're there. So yes. Uh, I got this one in a really good lot. Actually, it was $30 for a lot of plush, including some plush you'll see right behind me soon. So yeah, that's just another stellar plush. And now we move on to the Angry Birds formidable foes, starting out with a Gen 2 Minion pick. So here it is. Got this one in 2019. It came with a perfect... It came with a new with tax helmet pick as well. And yeah, so uh, the sad thing about this plush is that there's, yeah, there's a price tag on it and someone tried to rip it off and it's, it's stuck. The sound chip tag is actually in perfect condition though, which is really nice. But yeah, other, if this uh, blemish wasn't here, this would be a perfect condition minion pig. Yep, Gen 2. And up next is a, we have a new with tags Gen 2 helmet pig. So yeah, uh, I remember in 2019, uh, the helmet pick prices were like sky high for some reason. I was like, no, I'm not paying $50 for a, for a tagless helmet pick. But on Carousel, there was a new in bag helmet pick for like, I, was, I, I think it was $5 if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so the helmet pick plush is a plush I've wanted for a very, very long time back in 2019. You know, now I have three, which is... Mm. Yeah, overall, probably one of my favorite plush, like, in general. It's very, very unique. Very, very happy to have this plush. Next up, we have a Foreman pig. It is Gen 2. Gen 2. As usual, part of the uh, part of the lot, the $50 lot from most of the classic plush. And yeah, strangely enough, the mustache makes a really funny noise. Cool. And closing off the classics, we have the one, the only, King Pig! Yes, King Pig is here. Very, very nice plush. Well, the classic plush probably one of all of my favorites. So yeah, you have the King Pig, part of that $50 lot. That lot is responsible for a lot of my uh, current classic plush, actually. Yep. Gen 2 has the sound chip, has the nice crown, I love it. I love this plush. All right, that's it for the uh, the classic section. Let's move on to tier two of the shelf. We have seasons and space now. So we'll start from the back this time. First up, first up, we have Valentine's Matilda. It's a, a Gen 3 one this time, part of another carousel lot. Probably one of the better deals, $30 for three uh, Valentine's plush. And yeah, it's Valentine's Matilda. I had to clean this one. It was kind of dirty. <sighs> yep. All the way back in 2019, if you remember. Part of that Valentine's lot, we also have Bopig. Sound ship, as with Valentine's Matilda, it is Gen 3. And yes, Bopig. Very unique plush. Very, very, very fond of this one. And completing that uh, lot for the Commonwealth plush in that lot, we have Cupid Pig. Yes. Gen 3 has the sound ship. Now, the uh, the weird thing is, is that when, when we got this plush, when my mom and I picked this plush up, the wings were detached, so I had to ask my mother to sew it back on. I don't know, the, the seller could have told us at least. But yes, been with me for almost four years now. That's it for the, uh, the five inch. Let's uh, do the box sets first, actually. Let's be lovebirds. Seven. USD. Now, uh, the catch is that the box isn't in perfect condition, but for $5, I'm pretty stoked to have this. And also we have, it's complicated, woohoo. Yep, I got this one at the end of 2019. I didn't do a plush haul for that because I am stupid. Yes, new with tags, that's amazing. It's in perfect condition. The box, not so much. There's a few, uh, a few blemishes here and there. But yeah, it's in 
basically perfect condition. All right, uh, let's do Star Wars. Let's do Star Wars. First up, we have Luke Skywalker. The big lightsaber. Now, the thing about this is that I was a kid, so... Yeah, I got this in 2012. And I was really confused why the tail couldn't move. All the other plush I had at the time, the tails could move. Like, why can't this one move? So I ripped it off. <laughs> but yeah, I've brought this on trips overseas before Korea, I'm pretty sure. And yes, it's been gently played with, not in horrible condition, still in good condition. Luke Skywalker. Um, joining Luke Skywalker when we bought that lot, we have... We have Han Solo Chuck. Here he is. Oh yeah, the uh, thing about these is that we purchased them from the uh, the online Rovio store. So they came with the uh, the washing instructions tag. Focus. Yeah, it came with those, so that's an interesting tidbit. Same with Luke Skywalker. Yeah, it's just another hand solo shot. Now, unlike uh, unlike Luke Skywalker, the tail is still, still there. So yeah. Overall, in pretty good condition. Not perfect condition, but still really happy to own this. And the plush that wanted to jump off the shelf, you may have seen, a Stormtrooper pig. Bought alongside Luke and Ham. We have the tag, the washing instructions. Yep, this one's basically in perfect condition. It's very, very good plush. Yes, very happy. And last set for this tier, we have, first off, Space Red. It's Gen 3. So this is one of my uh, childhood plushes. Yes, I used to play with this with my brother a lot. And yes, has the sound chip. Very, very happy to have this. Now, I actually got this plush for free. D don't ask. I don't know how my mom did it, but we were at a we were at a shopping mall in one of the stores, and then my mom said, "Hey, uh, I can get you a free thing. Do you do you want to pick something?" Like, okay, and we picked Space Red. Next up, we have. New with tags, Space Blue, 5 inch. Now, uh, people who have watched my uh, plush hauls in the past, which I have now been lost to time, unfortunately, may recall that I got this in the July plush haul, yes. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a hole through the tag, like a straight line hole. Yeah, but it's okay. It's it's whatever. It's it's nice to have a 5 inch. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it's a, it's a good stuff toys. I was very surprised at the time to see that this was a Good Stuff Toys plush. So yeah, this is my uh, first ever Good Stuff plush, and it's of a character I really like, so that's pretty cool. Following up Space Blue, we have Fire Bomb. Gen 3, one of my, again, childhood plushes. It's Fire Bomb. He's very good. He's in very good condition, actually. He's very still has his very fluffy fur. His cape is still in very good condition. And the final plush on this tier of the shelf is Monster Terrence. Now this one is also from the online Rovio shop, hence the washing instructions tag. It is Space Terrence. Now moving to tier 3 of the shelf, this one is completely seasons. Starting out with new with tags, Gen 2. Easter red. So yes, it's in it's new with tags. The tags in very, very good condition. Now regretfully the person who I bought this plush from is Lucky Finds Shop. I have many regrets now that they have sniped a lot of good listings on Macari and sold them for ridiculous prices. But yeah, I if I could go back in time and told um, my past self what Lucky Finds would do. I wouldn't have bought this, but here we are now. It's it's too late to go back. Easter red. Next up, we have an Easter blue. Uh, the sound chip is the sound chip is here. Don't ask why. <laughs> uh, this one was deformed. Like, the box it came in it was like, very very thin. It was like pressed up against like this. But yes, this blue completed my uh, my blue collection. At the time, I was only missing this plush to have every single blues plush in the collection so yes now unfortunately this one isn't isn't in the best condition as i mentioned before it was squished in a very very thin box and the ears henceforth are kind of ugh. but it's it's okay it's it's whatever i 
this one is one of the only plushes that I know makes sound. And last of the Easter, on this part of the shelf, we have Easter Stella, Matt Fur Gen 4. So yes, it is, it's just another Easter Stella. It has the Matt Fur, which uh, I guess I'm okay with actually, it's not the worst, it's not the best. I'd still prefer Fluffy Fur, but yeah, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, the tush tag is kind of scrunched up for some reason. It's been like this since I got it. But yes, Easter Stella. Got this one in 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. Woohoo. All right, I've taken the uh, Easter plush down. So now we're going to do the next set. Starting out, Devil Red. New with tags. Tags in very good condition. Gen 2. Tail. Yeah, so the weird thing about Devil Red is that he's a bit bigger than your average 5-inch plush. Let's just grab another plush here for reference. Let's grab Matilda. Yeah, he's slightly bigger than your average 5-inch for some reason. And he feels bigger in your hands as well. He has, a, he has the 5-inch red. It feels bigger, I don't know why. But yeah, this Devil Red plush is one of the uh, pioneers of my plush collection. This is one of the first few plushes I've ever bought that kickstarted this entire thing. Other than my pre-existing plushes. Got this for eight United States dollars. And it arrived on the 31st of December 2018. I did a live stream where I opened this and no one showed up. Which is fine actually, it's okay. Next up we have a 5 inch Wizard Chuck. Why did I say inch like that? Generation 2. Bought from eBay in 2021. I've got a plush I'll have to upload. Yeah, Wizard Chuck. I love the hat on this thing. It's amazing. One of my favorite plushes, honestly. I love this thing's hat. Yeah, if you look at the back of the the plush, there's a few uh, price tags. How do I put this properly? Oh, whatever. You can see the price tags. Oh, we have Frankenbaum. Gen 2. So yeah, the uh, interesting thing about my my uh, Halloween plushes, all three out of four all come new with tags. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. The touch the side tag is positioned really weirdly, but the, other than that, it's yeah, it's got the plastic screws. It's still very fluffy. It has its fluffy fur. It's not been played with. And yes, a very very nice plush. I remember wanting this plush all the way back in two thousand and twelve. Like, oh, I want I want it from the uh, Angry Birds store, but oh, it's okay. I guess I will never get it. Here we are now. I got this in twenty. I got that plush in twenty twenty one, and completing the Halloween set, we have the infamous infamous pumpkin pig. Ah, this thing is worth a thousand dollars. Am I right, eBay sellers? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Purchase on Amazon. All the way back in 2019, you may remember the plush haul. Do you remember the plush haul? Do, I, do any of you remember the plush hauls? I don't know. Yeah, here we have Gen 2, Pumpkin Pig. No side tag, unfortunately. If I want a side tag now, I have to fork over so much money. But no, whatever. Very happy with this. Love this plush. All right. Now for the ones at the back, we have first Christmas Red. So yeah, it's a new with tax, tax in good condition, Gen 2. It's Christmas Red. Now, uh, this was purchased from Toy Wiz. So this is one of the uh, last few Christmas Reds uh, Toy Wiz ever, ever sold. And yeah, I remember when uh, Maximus Overdrive had his had a video. Like, oh, if you want to buy a plush, you should get this one because it's only $14.99 and it'll get you into the Seasons Club. Ooh. So yeah, uh, very happy to have had this at a... Good price with tag. Next up, we have a updated 5-inch Christmas Blue. I love this plush. Christmas Blue has been one of my favorite plushes ever because it's... Back in the day, they used to be uh, more expensive for some odd reason. I can't explain why. No sound chip. And there's a hole through the barcode tush tag. Gen 4, as expected. Yeah, I love this plush. I love Christmas Blue. Such a good plush. Now joining the Toy Wiz bunch, we have a Christmas Chuck. New with tags, Gen 2. Now as, unfortunately, uh, this one's side tag is a bit scruffed up, but it's still, it's bearable. It's not the worst. So here he is. It's Christmas Chuck. 
bought from Toy Wiz alongside Christmas Red. Another one from Toy Wiz. Here he comes. Ooh. It's Christmas Bomb Gen 2 New Wave Tags. Now this tag, this tag is straight as hell. Look how good condition the tag is. It's in such good condition, yes. I'm so happy to have had this. It's such a good plush. I love the Christmas plush. It's such a unique take on the plush franchise. Gen 2. All right. And last of the birds, we have a Christmas Matilda. Now this one's Gen 2. I bought this with my uh, updated design how over here. Came in the same lot, came with uh, a few other plushes that I sold to a fellow Angry Birds enthusiast. If you know who you are, you know who you are. And finally, the boy, Christmas Pig. Yeah, Gen 2, no hang tag, even though it was advertised as new. Amazon sellers, whatever. Yeah, uh, first ever unboxing video I did, I did on this guy. After a fiasco where he disappeared, just popped up again on Amazon in 2019. Here we are now. Christmas pig. And the last of the shelf. First off, the last ever leprechaun hat red on Toy Wiz. New with tags. This tag is in perfect condition. Very happy. Gen 2. As expected. Yeah, the hat's in very good condition. And finally, leprechaun hat day pig. What a plush. What a plush indeed. Ah, uh, Gen 2. Yeah, I'm very, very happy to have had this plush. I bought this plush with another plush, which we'll get into later. I'll talk more about the time when I got I was aware of the listing with the uh, next plush. So yeah, let's go put everything back now. This is going to be fun. All right, tier four. As you can tell, we have a lot, a lot of special plushes. Let's save them for last. Let's do the ones at the back first, because I'm stupid. First up, we have Angry Birds Stella Stella. Perfect tag condition. Now, uh, the thing about this plush is that you can actually still buy it on eBay because the listing is still up. Yeah, so uh, back in 2019, I didn't pick up Stella for some odd reason when I got uh, another plush, which we'll talk about. So yeah, when this appeared back in 2021, I knew I could not miss this opportunity again. And yes, we now have Angry Birds Stella Stella. Perfect condition. Lovely, lovely. Next plush we have is Poppy. New with tags. Yeah, the funny thing about the, this plush is that there's a sticker over the tush tag. And I don't want to take it off. So yeah, it's just a perfect condition Poppy, basically. Other than the weird sticker issue. Yep, we got, still got the wires in there. So I got this for $20 on Amazon in 2019. Next up, we have Willow, the new brawler from Brawl. I'm kidding. So here we have a Willow. This is the one from Amazon in 2019. Uh, older collectors may remember. Still got the tush tag tucked underneath the hat. And yeah, it's just another plush. The tag's in really good condition. It's basically perfect. All the 5-inch Stella plush I have right now uh, have their side tag. Which is a trend I like to keep, but uh, it's getting too expensive, so we're gonna... And last of my Stella plush, we have... This is gonna take a while. We have Luca, 8-inch Luca. So, I uh, got this one off Carousel for $2. Don't ask. Uh, yep. It has the wash tag. It has the washing tush tags instruction, so I guess that's cool. Yeah, the wires are a bit bent up because this is someone else's plush. It's not. I'm not the original owner. Yeah. Ironic how the biggest bird is the one who is... And I just took this plush out of the shelf. Marmoset from Amazon in 2019. April plush haul. Who remembers that? <laughs> yep, it's Marmoset. I'm not going to push the press it. Yeah, I'm very happy to have had them in all of their tags. It's amazing. Tush tag, tush tag. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. And now, as you can see, they're back on the shelf. The accessorized pigs. Woohoo! All right, here we are. Sallow Toys Postman Pig. Has the hat. Has the unique, unique outline. 
there's a weird stitching error there and uh in the backpack i actually posted the the amazon thing the amazon uh received this still in here i just keep them in the backpack yeah postman pig eventually i would like to get a uh, the not cello toys postman pig because just to have it you know but yeah i'm very happy to have had this actually other than the weird ass side tag postman pig one of four accessorized pigs and my first accessorized pig Next up, the infamous, infamous boy, Chef Fig, new with tags. The tag's in okay condition. It's slightly folded, but it's it's all right. It's new with tags. Uh, yeah, it's a Chef Fig. It's a Chef Fig. It's really cool, though. It's such a nice plush. Look at the teeth. Now, unfortunately, the hat is a bit dirty. Sag, very sag. Yeah, and it's uh, the last accessorized pig I needed for my collection. And now, the ones we've all been waiting for. Starting out, Cowboy Hat Pig! Woohoo! Now, the funny thing about this plush is, uh, this is the cheapest accessorized pig of the four. This one is the cheapest. I got it for $50. It's am I don't know how I woke up that day going to school like, Oh, 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 $50 Cowboy Hat Pig! Here we are now. And, of course, the boy, the meme. Oh my gosh! He's real! Construction hat pig! Yeah, um... It's construction hat pig. What more do I need to say? He's amazing! So yeah, uh, just now I mentioned how I got a leprechaun hat pig with another plush. This is him. I got two of the more rare plush in the plush franchise from the same seller. Amazing, isn't it? So yeah, Construction Hat Pig. Now, when Construction Hat Pig arrived, his eyes were a bit dirty, and it only took until uh, 2021 to scrub his eyes with a bit of soap. But yeah, very, very happy to have had this plush. And it was actually my second accessorized pig. Yeah, getting one of the rarer ones before I got Chef Pig. But yeah... With the addition of Chef Pig last year in June, we have all four accessorized pigs. Glad to have joined the club. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Alright, time for tier 5. Infamous, infamous Winter Red. So, uh, look at his tag. <laughs> uh, his touch tag is behind the scarf. Nice green hat. Nice red plush. So, yeah. What happened to the tag? Now, uh, for those who didn't watch my June plush haul before it got deleted, uh, this hat, when it arrived, came off. This tag, squished. So yeah, uh, Toy Wiz advertised this as new. They're not wrong, but what the hell, Toy Wiz? So yeah, I opened it up, I opened the plastic bag, I see this, and I was like, oh no... And yeah, so my mom sewed the hat back on. It's back on now. It's basically new, other than the fact that the hat came off and Toy Wiz didn't bother to say anything. But yeah, it's winter red. Now, uh, it, the tag's actually attached to the hat, so when the hat came off, the tag came off with it. And I just had a winter red with the scarf, and I, I put the hat onto my 5-inch red at the time. It's like, ooh, I got the red plush. Let's go. Next up, next up. We have a certain Winter Matilda. It's a Winter Matilda, Gen 2. Got the very cool hat, got the nice light blue scarf. Yeah, this plush is from Amazon for like $40 around there. Back when Angry Birds plush was still on Amazon. Yeah, so likewise with other Amazon listings when it's advertised as new. Doesn't come with the hang tag. Disappointing, but whatever. Up next up, we have Winter Chuck. Winter Chuck. Yep, it's Winter Chuck, everyone. My 2019 Christmas present. New with tags. Tags are in okay condition, not perfect. Hat still very firmly sewn on. And yeah, it's just Winter Chuck. Now, uh. Likewise with my uh, construction hat pick, Winter Chuck's eyes were, were actually a bit dirty when uh, when he arrived. So yeah, it took me uh, two years to clean his eyes out, which is the funny thing. But yeah, he's here. He's in very good condition. 
And he was the last winter plush I needed to complete the set of six, yeah. The winter set is probably one of my favourite sets ever. Winter pig! It's winter pig. Tush tag. Tush tag is withering a bit, but it's okay. It's not terrible. Winter pig. So yeah, uh, one interesting fact about this pig is that I actually bought the last ever uh, new, classified as a new winter pig from Amazon in 2019. It was $150, but I had red packet money, so it was okay. But the courier lost it in the mail in America, so it never got to the uh, shipping address. So there's just a new web tax winter pick running about in the wild now. So yeah, fast forward to around July or June, I think it was June of that year, I see a listing for a winter pig for $60. Here we are now. A purchase from a former Angry Birds enthusiast, I will not name them, because I will be courteous. If you're watching this, uh, thank you very much. I, I, very, I very much like this plush. Next up, we have Winter Bum. Uh, this one is from Amazon, not from Toy Wiz, but from a different seller. The tag is in very, very good condition, though. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. I, I just geek out over tags. I'm really sorry. Yeah, perfect condition. Winter Bomb sits proudly on top of the shelf. And lastly, for my favorite winter plush, Winter Blue. What else can I say? I love this plush. I love this plush. So yeah, here's the tag. Not perfect condition. I'm the one at fault here. Tush tag. Hat. I love this plush. So, uh, in 2016, my mom asks, uh, do you want anything for your birthday? And I say, hmm, let me go, let me go look around. And I was like, hmm, I remember this one Angry Birds shot that I used to watch a lot. And I remember that one character. I'm going to search up Angry Birds Winter Blue onto, onto the internet. Here we are. Now, this thing spent an unfathomable amount of time in post. It took two months to get to Singapore. But it was worth it. I really like this plush. Yeah, this plush basically was my magnum opus at the, when I first started. It was my rarest plush, basically, when I started collecting. And it is one of the, uh, one of the plushes that kick-started all of this. Winter Blue. Love this plush. Love this set. That's it for winter. Let's move on to the... Ooh. First up, we have... Purple Cage Bird. The newest edition has the sound chip. I regret pressing it. But yes, Purple Cage Bird. It's a Purple Cage Bird. Uh, still has its very, very fluffy fur. Yeah, it's in very, very good condition. Uh, this was actually a surprise by my mom. She surprised me with this, and I was like, Whoa, you got me a purple cage bird? Thank you so much! Yeah, purple cage bird. Very happy to have had this. The last plush I needed to complete the cage bird set. <laughs> Ironically, I was missing the most common cage bird plush. When I already had all of the rare ones. So yeah, purple cage bird. Very happy to have had this. Next up, we have pink cage bird. Pink cage bird. New with tags. Tag is in perfect, perfect condition. Tush tag. Sound chip. Not gonna press it. Yeah, uh, the funny thing about this one and the, the other plush I bought from the same seller, it's very firm. Like, it's it's very well stuffed. And one of my first few caged bird plushes. Yeah, I had a really big uh, caged bird craze in 2019. Do I regret a bit of it? Yeah, a lot of money was... <sighs> Angry Birds plush are expensive. We're gonna do two at once next. We have my green and blue caged birds. The green one's here. Here's the blue one. Blue caged bird. Twitch tag. Now, uh, if you recall when I uh, talked about the story of my classic bomb plush, these two are the plushes that came with it. And uh, one more red plush, my first ever red plush. So yeah, uh, Carousel, I remember <laughs> that day in 20, 2019, I was at my uh, my dad's house. And I was scrolling through 
scrolling through the old carousel listings, because that's when I discovered carousel was a okay site for local Angry Birds plus shopping. I was like, wait, aren't these... Those are caged birds! <gasps> so yeah, the whole lot was 16 Singaporean dollars. Six, that's four Singaporean dollars per plush, basic math. And you go look at the price, especially of the blue cage bird. You go look at the price of blue cage bird nowadays. Oh boy, I'm so happy to have had these plush. Uh, two of my, the plushes that, again, kickstarted the collection at the early stages of 2019. Cage birds. Next up, we have red caged bird. Oh boy, where to start with you? I have had a wonky ass history with this, this plush. Not this unit, this plush. So, uh... Before we go to the story, let's do the Twitch tags. Good stuff. Can't really see, but it's just, just the good stuff information. It's not that important. Kinda, I guess. It's not necessary. So I still remember, it was after choir practice, and I I, I pull up my phone, and I'm, Ooh, ooh, Red Cage Bird, finally! And I was just jumping about the the corridor, it was very funny. And I, I remember my uh, one of my choir friends, like, What, what, what are you doing? He's like, it's, it's Red Cage Bird! I was like, okay. So yeah, Red Cage Bird. Red Cage Bird. And now, the thing I'm known for now. Yellow Caged Bird. Come on. I'm so sorry. There you go. Yeah. Yellow caged bird. 375 United States dollars. Okay, to be fair, it did come with a green and pink caged bird. But that, it's still extremely expensive. Especially because it's in USD. It was 600 Singaporean dollars. I'm stupid. I think at the time, it was just the rush of like, Oh my goodness. No one else has this. I could have this. And I bought it. <sighs> I'm sorry, mom. I'm so sorry. But yeah. One of my favorite plush ever. Like, not, not just Angry Birds. Of my entire toy collection. I love this thing. Dude. Look at him. Look at his little face. Oh, What a good plush. And with that, that's the entire section of this shelf. Let's go to the top. Whoa, my camera totally isn't balancing very dangerously on my bed right now. Welcome to the skies. Starting out, Birthday Red. So yes, here we have Birthday Red. He's a plush. He's a very good plush. So uh, here is his tush tag. I'm really hoping I don't nudge my camera any bit. Because if I do, it's going to go tumbling down. So yeah. Birthday Red, uh, basically perfect condition, excluding the tags. Now, uh, it actually does have the plastic uh, hooks still on it. This one has like half ripped off. Again, regretfully, this is from Lucky Finds Shop. Likewise, I could have told my past self I would not have bought this. But hey, uh, it was three years ago. It was almost four years ago at this rate. <sighs> Birthday Red. And a new addition, very recent actually, the Birthday Bomb Plush! Rare as hell! Yeah, here he is, it's Birthday Bomb. And actually, uh, likewise to the Birthday Red, it actually does have the plastic hook still on. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, uh, so sorry about this one, it's from a fellow plush collector, if you... Most of you watching probably know who Angry Birds Plush Museum is, all trash. You probably know who they are. Yeah, uh, I was on the train one day with my friend. I saw this popped up. And I was like, hey, it's Christmas soon. Let's work together with my mother. Pay a bit from my own to get him. Yeah, birthday bomb. Uh, now there's a bit of stitching here. It, one section's off. It's fine. It's birthday bomb. He's basically in perfect condition. And now the last two for this shelf. First up, we have... My first ever Commonwealth plush, ever. It's a 12 inch, I'm pretty sure it's a 12 inch. It's a 12 inch blue plush with the sound chip, with the tush tag. Surprisingly, the tush tag's in good condition. Gen 2. Yeah, this plush, 
boy, this thing started a train wreck of a money sink. Yeah, it's it's a blue plush. Bought this from a gift greetings in a mall here. Basically kickstarted all of all of this. Everything can be traced back to this one plush. Yeah, I miss those days. I miss going into stores and seeing Angry Birds plush. Commonwealth plush specifically. If I could go back to one period of time, I would go back to this time. This was... These were better times. And finally... The biggest bird of them all... The Mighty Eagle. Gen 2. Yeah, so what is that? What else is there to say? It's the Mighty Eagle. Love this plush. Still retains its very, very fluffy fur. Yeah, it's the Mighty Eagle. So, uh, this was actually purchased from a store, a physical store, in, let's say, 2000 and... I don't really remember the date. 11, yes. The Mighty Eagle. Yeah, I remember looking through the, the window, like, oh my gosh, wait, look, it's the Mighty Eagle! And then my brother was like, oh wow, that's really cool. And because uh, we were both into Angry Birds at the time, me more than him, but he was still excited. And then my mom was like, oh wow, that's really cool, it's the Mighty Eagle. She bought it for me, and my brother. One of my favourite plush in the collection, simply because of its story and my excitement to see it in a store. Love this plush. Alright, now that our main shelf is done, let's go to the next shelf. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, you've seen it in the past. So, uh, yeah, this pl this shelf is most of my duplicates, some of my older plush. Let's go. So, here we are. We've got uh, stuff up here, a lot of stuff here. Let's go. First, we're going to start with the boys. We have the one, the only, Changi Airport Cartoon Character Co. Limited. Space Pig. So now that we uh, know where, who manufactured this actually, or who designed this at least, we know where they came from, whether Changi Airport stole the designs, or whether Cartoon Co. Uh, manufactured these plush for Changi Airport. We don't know. I may try to go and contact Changi Airport on this matter in the future, hopefully. I've tried to contact Cartoon Character Co. No, the email on the tags are defunct. But yes, Space Pig. Very happy to have had to have this plush. Uh, one of the few plush that got me back into collecting, actually. And also our first non-Commonwealth of the day. Chang Yepot, Chang Yepot. It's Changi, pronounce it. <laughs> I'm kidding, pronounce it how you want. Space Pig in the bag, <laughs> yeah. So these two, I bought them together. They were $2 each. Yeah, here he is. In all of his glory, in his plastic bag. Space pig. So here we have some miscellaneous plushes. Whoa. Starting out, my first ever red plush. Yeah, this this plush came with the uh with the blue and green cage birds as well as that bomb plush. And also we have from that $50 classic lot where I got my open bee cow. Another Gen 2. Gen 2. Gen 2. Red plush. They are very good friends now. We also have Duplicate Winter Blue. Now this this one's tags are actually in better condition than my original one. Gen 2, yada yada. Now when I originally got this plush, uh this this part of the hat whee, came off. I had to sew that back on, but other than that, it's a perfect condition. Uh winter blue. Next up we also have 5-inch yellow cage bird. Second one. Now, uh, the funny story about this plush is that I got this for $40. If I had waited a few months, <laughs> I would have gotten a yellow cage bird for $40. But no, it's okay. I have two now. Yes, it's yellow cage bird, my second one. Good friends. Very good friends. We also have pink cage bird, the second one. This is the one that came with my original yellow cage bird. Manufacture date. Yeah. Came with the yellow, my original yellow cage bird. Speaking of the other plush that came with the yellow cage bird. Green cage bird. It's 
Good stuff to ice cream kitchen, but... Woo! So yeah, we also have... Green cage bird. This came with the other pink cage bird, the new with tags one. Unfortunately, there is like a coffee stain on the tush tag. What was the original seller doing with the green cage bird? But yeah, uh, that, other than that, the tags are in perfect condition basically. Unless, unless you count the very minute like fold. It's very, very tiny. You basically can't notice it from afar. And we also have... Another winter chuck. There's a hole in the tag. <laughs> Duplicate winter chuck. Let's just do another tag. Tag. Gen 2, as expected. Next up, we also have... Movie Blue. New with tags. The tags is kind of squished, though, because I... I uh, put this on the bed in San Francisco, and I, I, I didn't... I didn't know how to take care of tags in the past. Movie Blue. This is brought from America Street. Yes, this is from America. I went to America in 2016. And we went to one of the bigger Toys R Us's. Picked up a nice little Movie Blue for the collection. And of course, the one, the only, Movie Minion Pig. Nice. Nice plush. I love the eyebrows. The eyebrows are very well made. Look at them. Yeah, it's a Movie Minion Pig. Got this for... $14. <laughs> yeah. Very cheap for what it is. Duplicate of Leprechaun Hat Day. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Likewise with my original Leprechaun Hat Day. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, uh, perfect condition tag. Very fluffy. What is the story behind this plush? This came in a lot with the birthday red plush. This is from Lucky Finds Shop. I regret having this. Now, that we know who Lucky Finds is, like uh, what kind of person Lucky Finds is. Yellow cage bird, number three. <laughs> yep, we got a third yellow cage bird. <laughs> tags, woohoo, tags, not for retail sale, blah blah blah. Manufacturer date, woo. Yes, I got a third one. Now, the interesting thing about this one, it's a, uh, it's big, like it's much bigger than my other my other cage birds. But it's not really an 8 inch, so it's a 6.5, which I've never heard of. Maybe it's because I'm stupid as hell. I've just never heard of a 6.5 inch cage bird before. I know 8 inch cage birds exist. I didn't know there was 6.5, so when I, I opened this up, I was like, wait, it's, it's not 5 inch. Whoa! Yeah. $60 on eBay. Do I regret it? A little bit, but it's okay. This one has pen ink on it. I tried to, I tried to wipe it away, but uh, it's stuck on, whatever. All right, last section of the tiered shelf. There's a lot of flushes, flushes in these one. So uh, what is this section? This section is me trying to stuff as many plush as I can. Let's go. We'll start with this. Pirate Matilda. Hearts, our first hearts plush. So how did I get this one? This came in a lot. I mentioned with my classic Stella. This was part of that lot. This was the main reason why I bought that lot for the heart splash. We'll see later. There's a lot more. Pirate Matilda. Very happy to have had it. I don't know what I was thinking, why I didn't pick it up earlier. It's such a good... Heart splash are incredibly underrated in my opinion. A lot of people like Commonwealth more. and I, I used to be one of them, but now that I have heart splash, yes, they, they're so much higher quality. Speaking of hearts, Scrooge Matilda. Now, here we have Tush Tag. Hold on. Touch tag. Now, we have hang tag. We have hot seasons hang tag. Yeah. So, Scrooge Matilda. Same lot as this. Some of the other plush. It's Scrooge Matilda. Dracula Red. He's very shy. He keeps wanting to cover his eyes. Especially the swing. Tush tag, tush tag. Yeah, so Dracula Red. It's a good plush. Hearts plushes are really, really high quality for dog toys. My goodness. Here we have Matt Fur Easter Chuck. Gen 4. But yeah, uh, this was relatively affordable. Uh, yeah, it's just another Chuck plush, really. Matte fur. It's nice to have a good mix of matte fur and fluffy fur. 
But given the opportunity, I will pick Fluffy Fur. Let's do a weird 6.5. Here we have uh, a minion pig, yeah. So, uh, I don't know whether they're 8 inch or not, which is the problem. Maybe uh, this is a 5 inch comparison. They're like as tall as each other, but this one's like much wider. I don't know what's, what size this is supposed to be. Gen 2, Gen 2. Has the sound chip. This is from a gift greetings. Wow. Yeah, I used to get a lot of my Angry Birds plush from a gift greetings. Yeah, uh, when I was younger, I really wanted a minion pick plush because they looked really cute. I got one. I'm very happy. It took a while for me to get one. So, Laser Chuck. Gen 3. Wash instructions. Yeah, it's a, it's an 8-inch Laser Chuck. Uh, this one actually... Yeah, because I, I passed this to my brother like for a long period of time before he gave it back to me. It was with him for a few years. Now it's mine again. So there is a bit of ripping at the cape. But it's not like consistently ripping, so it's okay. To finish off the left side, we have... We have Gen 3 Winter Matilda. Yes, yes. This one is international tag. Tush tag. Oh, I can't read. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's... Updated Winter Matilda. Pretty sure this... this The person I bought this from also had a... No Crown Birthday Pig as well as a Birthday Stella. They were selling for ridiculously high prices, but this one was $40. Yeah, if I had known that they were they were being greedy, I probably wouldn't have bought this, but I didn't know at the time. Bunny Blue! Gen 4. Barcode. Fluffy fur, very nice. Yeah, it's another Easter Blue. Here's his friend. Yeah, a uh, big fan of the Easter plush. I think they're very high-quality plush. Very nice to have. This is a Gen 1 Chuck. Similar to my classic lot. This came in a lot. Full of classic birds. This is a Gen 1 Chuck. For $40. With four other Gen 1 plush. Yeah, Gen 1 Chuck. With a very malnourished beak. One plush we have. Gen 1 Red. Similarly, very malnourished. The red is a bit weird. Like, if you look at the... The difference in the reds. I don't know if it's dirty or something, but this red is more uh, vibrant red. This one's more dull red. I don't know if that's a trend with other Gen One reds. Like even if, even if like you take Gen Two, because I want. I don't know if that's a Gen One or Gen Two. This red is much duller. I don't know why. Gen One Blue. Tush tag. Tush tag. Gen One Matilda. Tush tag. Yeah, got all of these in the lot. With one more, which we'll go into later. Weird ass. I guess this is eight this is the closest we'll get to an eight inch, because the rest the other pluses are really flat. I don't know why. But yeah. Gen 2 Foreman pig. Eight inch, I'm pretty sure. It should be an eight inch. If it's any plush out of my pig plush, I I can confidently say that this is an eight inch. Foreman pig. Bought from the gift greetings. Has the sound chip actually. And let's go with this one. Icebird! Icebird. This is a pre-order Icebird. Gen 3. Wash instructions. You've seen it already. Yeah, it's Icebird. I I, when I was younger, I used to love Icebird. And I still love Icebird. I need to get a 5-inch so I can add it to the, the space collection. And for the last of the 8-inch pigs. It's King Pig without crown. If you watch Space Blue vs. Space Pig, in part 2 he's in there, he's here now, woo. Has the sound chip, Gen 2. Gift greetings, what a surprise. Alright, the last three big, big plush. Let's start out with... Bomb, Spot Bomb. As per usual, Gen 1, push tag. Same on Nourish Beak as the other Gen 1 plush I have. So yes, it's Spot Bomb. What is there to say? It's amazing to have this plush. It took me three years to get a Spot Bomb. But I'm finally glad to have one. Yay! He sits here. Now, uh, this is probably one of my favorites, my personal favorites, as well as my mother's favorite of the collection. 
Reindeer pig. Oh my goodness. What a plush indeed. Uh, hearts as per usual. Hearts made lovely Angry Birds plush. It's amazing. This one has the hang tag. Like with Scrooge Matilda. But the hang tag on this one is a bit weird because the hang tag's supposed to go like... The hang tag's supposed to look like this, but this one, it's it, it hangs like this. I don't know why. They probably put the tag on the wrong way. But yeah, it's it's a reindeer pig. He squeaks. And lastly, the one everyone likes to point out in the 2022 collection. This. What is this? Now, we've talked with collectors online. We've talked with Maximus Overdrive. We've talked with Angry Birds Plush Museum. What is this? This is what I like to coin the fusion bird. Or the abomination, I don't know. A lot of people have given it names over the years. I'm just going to call it fusion bird. This is a legendary worth point listing on worth point. I don't think it'll be worth showing you the tags because this is probably someone's fan-made amalgamation. We forwarded our questions to Max to ask the Commonwealth CEO on what on earth is this? He doesn't know. If the CEO of the company that makes these plush doesn't know, who will? Unless the Commonwealth employee who made this, like, some, some, hey, it's me. It's probably a custom. Yeah, it's Fusion Bird. A lot of people like to point him out. I, I know. I, I don't think he's official. I don't think a Commonwealth person made it. It's probably a custom, but it is a legendary listing. I got this when it was up. It was, uh, let's, it was, I'm pretty sure it was $75 after shipping. It was, it's worth it. It's legendary. Uh... And that's it. That's it for these three tiers of the collection. Now let's go up a level. All right, here we have the top of the shelves now. We'll start with the shelf we were talking about just now. First up, 8.5, I want to say. 8.5 inch Terrence plush. Gen 2, wash instructions, you know, uh, 5 inch for comparison. Yeah, this is what I dubbed the guardian of the box sets. Speaking of which, the Angry Birds book and toy gift set, $5 on carousel. Uh, at the back of it, it shows a fluffy fur red, it's a matte fur red inside, and there's a book. Yeah, if you want to read the description, go ahead, pause the video. Uh, here is the this is the side. Here's the other side. Here's the bottom. Next up, we have inflated bubbles. What size is? I don't know. Why are my plush sizes so goddamn weird? Uh, here we have 5 inch red for comparison. Probably an 8 inch. I'll say 8 inch. That will make this 8.5. Oh, I don't know what size. I'm so dumb. Yeah, here we have inflated bubbles. Push tag, Gen 3. Wash, wash instructions. Angry Birds online store. Here is the Angry Birds plush 3-pack. Now, it's in mid condition. Could be better, but not the worst. So, here's the bottom. You can see the Barnes and Nobles. I don't know how to pronounce because I don't live in America. Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Back of the box. Side. There's a sticker here. I don't know why. Other side. And what everyone loves to talk about, the top. Yeah, uh, this is one of the uh, rarer plush box sets around. I remember the day I saw this in school. A lot of my plush here were... I found the listings in school, funnily enough. Yes, plush 3-pack. What a beautiful sight. This is a King Pig golf cover. Gen 4. As you can tell by the cardboard. Yeah, this used to be on Amazon for a while after Max released his, uh, his old video on the plush golf head covers. Yeah, uh, my mom bought this. Funnily enough, she wanted it. She wanted it because she has played golf. She she likes golf. Yeah, it's just the Kingpin golf cover. Very nice addition, though. These, what are these? 
These are the McDonald's plush, the infamous McDonald's plush, which are incredibly hard to come by. Now, I've got a full set of these McDonald's plush in their bags, which means they have this funny sticker. I'm pretty sure it's a sticker thing. I think Trash has a... Trash has a video on it. You can go watch the McDonald's plush uh, review if you want. But yeah, they're all in bags. Chuck, Bomb, Hal, Matilda, and Pig. So yeah, there is a plush inside. I can confirm. I can, I can peek through slightly, especially on Kingpig. There is plush inside. You have to trust me on that. All right. Now that we've got all the things on top of the shelf done, let's go into the box sets. First box set. The plush four pack. Gen 4. Yes, yes. The plush four pack. One of my first big purchases. I remember seeing this in a car park. The listing in the car park, not this. And I freaked out, as usual. When I get a cool plush listing, here we have the four. Top, side, side, bottom, back. Yeah, I love this thing. Next up we have Gen 2 box set. So yes, this is the plush 4-pack, this edition, red, yeah, all that good stuff, back, front, side, side, bottom, nothing too noticeable on this one, and the other variation of the plush 4-pack I don't have, with the, with a pig, Matilda, and Bomb, but I have 4-inch King Pick, I just realized. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is... It's just another 4-pack. Side. Side. Bottom. Back. Okay, uh, that's it for all the box sets. Let's go on to the backpack clips and stuff now. Alright, as mentioned, let's move on to the backpack clips. And this shelf. We'll start from this side. As you can see at the top, we have the Mighty Mojo, Mighty Eagle. Look at him, he's beautiful. Here is the touch tag. And of course, of course, I had to keep the side tag. Next up, we have a Sunwoo Mini Red. We also actually, as a matter of fact, have the Chef Pig topper pencil topper in all of his glory it's the only pencil topper i have and i'm very proud to own him not really related to Ang the plush but this is from the angry birds activity park in johor baru got it when i ordered uh it with a few more plushes that we'll get into later on top of the shelf we also have singapore airlines bubbles eye mask sealed and we also have tag, Christmas side tag. It's uh, it's the not limited edition one. And a limited edition tag. Got this with Winter Pig. We also have a the blue eye mask. If you watch my Mount Faber video, you'd recognize this. Yeah, I actually have my own blue mask and I, I still have it. I kept it. We have some more, some more tags. We have movie tag. And we also have... Reversibles tag. Yes, I cut the side tag off the reversible. We also have Angry Birds Star Wars tag. That's it for the tags. This is this is literally my entire tag collection. All right, let's get back to the backpack clips and plush. First off, we're gonna start with the LogoNet Minion Pig backpack clip. Here it is. We bought this off a very respectable Angry Birds plush enthusiast, very epic person. And we also have red keychain logo net. Now, unfortunately, the plastic bag is kind of coming out, but uh, it's whatever. Yeah, stoked to have these. Now, we also have Sun Woo Mini Blue. Touch tag's kind of faded, but you can kind of make out what it says. Kind of, it's in Korean. All right, uh, we have, let's do the card ones. This is a on-card jewel backpack clip. Yeah, this is actually my first uh, jewel plush. There is the tush tag. There is the barcode tag. 
information. Hooray. And also, for those who watch the second channel, this plush is responsible for over 6,000 views on that channel. Thanks to this plush, my second channel is performing algorithmically better than my main channel. This is responsible for my 1,000 monthly views on my second channel, while my main channel is dying. On card, how backpack clip, Gen 4, as you can tell. Bought this in the store, most recent store purchased plush. Also, technically, that that title I made is clickbait because I went back and I saw jumbo sized um, Movie Mighty and Movie Chuck plushes. I have a Movie Mighty. Movie Chuck is too big for me. I have no space. Anyways, back from being sidetracked, we have Han Solo Chuck. Touch tag. We also have Luke Skywalker. Tush, tush. Yeah, backpack clips were used to be my favorite aspect of collecting. Ah, here we go. This. Obi-Wan Kenobi backpack clip. So, a uh, little story. I purchased this from Canada. The interesting thing is that the tush tag, rather than being connected to the plush, is connected to his coat. So yeah, here's the tush tag. Yeah, uh, sad thing about this is that there's a little, uh, his coat is coming off a bit. Not coming off. Someone cut this, basically. Uh, next up is a Gen 4 Minion Pig backpack clip. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I actually purchased this from a store. Likewise with the Hell backpack clip. Gift Greetings, which is the store I bought the Hell from had stock of, what was it, a uh, Bomb, Hal, Minion Pig, and King Pig. I bought a King Pig for a friend, bought this Minion Pig for myself to add to the collection in 2018, when all of this was starting to pop up. Next, oh, next up, this. This is a Hal. But what kind of Hal is it? The exact same one. <laughs> so, uh, we have a Gen 4 Hal. Story behind this, this was a Mother's Day gift in 2018, I'm pretty sure, yes. Gave this to my mom. When the collection started up, she was like, oh, how about you You put this in your, your collection? And I was like, okay. So now it lives here. This is basically the exact same as this. So I, I could technically give this back, but I think she wants it to be added to the collection. It's technically still hers, so I guess I have my own now. Right, remember when I said that Luca was my last Stella plush? I lied. This is the one of three only plushes that do not have a tush tag in my collection. As you can see, the tag was cut by the girl who played with that Luca. And they gave us this. We bought this Stella as well for $2. So yeah, I just have a tagless uh, Stella Stella backpack clip. But it is, an, it is a nice backpack clip, actually. I'm very happy to own this. All right, now we're going to old territory, very old territory. We have Gen 2 Chuck. Now, interesting story about some of the backpack clips I'm about to show is that these were purchased by my dad who went to San Francisco on a business trip. And I asked him, can you find any Angry Birds soft toys? He's like, I'll try. This is what he came back with. So this is actually my first ever Chuck plush. Prior to this, I didn't have any like proper Commonwealth Chuck. I had bootlegs, but I didn't have a Commonwealth Chuck. We also have Gen 2 Bomb. Likewise with Chuck. This was the bomb first bomb plush I ever owned. My brother has a had a few. He has a few actually. It's right behind the camera right now. Those were owned by him. I never got to own one until this bomb came around. So yeah, Gen 2, as I've mentioned. Very cool. Now, this. This is a Gen 2 Commonwealth Red. But this is so incredibly significant to me. Because this is one of the first ever plushes 
that I've ever gotten related to Angry Birds. We have that, uh, the 12 inch blue. That was the first one I ever bought. This one, my dad had. And back when my Angry Birds craze was starting to build up, I just, I saw this, I was like, hey, can I have this? It's like, sure. One of the first ever Commonwealth Angry Birds plush in my collection. And here he is, Commonwealth Red. Very happy to own this plush. All right, all right. Next up, we have an, inter an interesting fellow. It's a blue backpack clip. A Gen 2 blue backpack clip, as you can see. Now, the interesting thing about this, if you notice the, uh, the top feathers of backpack clips, you can tell that, you can see that they uh, go vertically like this, like tall one, short one. This one, his top feathers go like this. So yes, it is a defective, it's a defect. And when I got this when I was a little kid, I was like, wait, why does it, why does it look like that? It's not supposed to look like that. So yeah, I have a defect blue in my collection. The tail, the top feathers were sewn on the wrong way. As you can see, uh, all the other backpack clips, their clips hang like this. This one hangs like this. If I hang it the normal way, it would be like this. So yeah, this is a defective blue. Very interesting. But uh, yeah, one of my first ever blue splushes. Yeah, a common uh, trend with these backpack clips is that these are a lot of my firsts because back then I was mainly into collecting backpack clips when the collection started because I only had backpack clips when I started. I only had a few uh, live full-size Commonwealth plushes. All right, next up we have another blue plush. Gen 2. I don't you want to read this, but whatever. Yeah, this is a blue backpack clip with a blue clip. The, as you use... If you're watching this, you know that a blue backpack clip traditionally comes with a yellow backpack clip. This one has a blue one. I'm pretty sure the prototype designs had these, so uh, it's pretty cool to have, actually. I've seen a couple of them pop up on eBay, like uh, a red with red one. I've seen that one the most. This. This is my Matilda backpack clip. My original Matilda backpack clip. Gen 3 tag. But however, the cardboard this came on was a Gen 2 cardboard backing, which is very interesting. Uh, and yeah, this plush is literally the reason I'm in contact with Maximus Overdrive. If you watched the Four Year History of EU video, you'd know that I first official encounter with Maximus Overdrive was regarding this plush. Like, hey, uh, why does the Tush tag not uh, match with the cardboard backing it's on? It's like, oh, it's an international release. It's like, oh, okay. This plush is the entire reason I'm in contact with Maximus Overdrive today. And yeah, this plush is significant because, oh, in the past, Maximus Overdrive made a video like, oh my gosh, uh, Matilda Backpack Clip is so rare. It's like, yeah, not wrong, I guess. But Singapore had it, but uh, whatever. Here it is, Matilda Backpack Clip. Regretfully, I cut, the, I cut the card off of it. I was a kid, I'm sorry. All right, all right. We're getting to the home stretch of the Backpack Clips. I got another one. <laughs> yes, this is a Matilda backpack clip, Gen 4, and this time it's actually Gen 4. Got an additional tush tag. Very cool, very cool. Uh, also, I lied. I have three Matilda backpack clips. <laughs> so yes, this is from Carousel all the way back in 2019. So uh, the cardboard is a bit a bit, uh, just a bit, uh, just a bit, man. It's not that, it is really bad. <laughs> Back. Yeah, this one's kind of dirty, but uh, it's been with me for like four years almost. So yeah. I am just rolling in Matilda backpack. I've got, I've got a Matilda backpack clip for each arrow, which is cool. Well, at least the tush tag. Uh, let's go for this. Bubbles Eye Mask. You may have, you may recognize this from this just now. This one's mine. This one's my brother's. He didn't open his. Which is probably a good thing, because value. Ah, here we are. The Reversible's Fortune Teller thing. I still have If anyone's curious to what's inside, this is what it's inside. I don't want to damage it because it's a bit torn. Not that bad, though. Alright, uh, this one is my mother's favorite plush. This is the Claire's Winter Red. And my, I think my mom likes it because it's the mismatched color. I was like, I guess that's fine. That, that's fair. It's a, it's a very nice plush. I love this plush. 
And the last of them all, the wonkiest thing I own, the Sun Wu Angry Birds Slingshot. So yes, when I went to Korea to get these Sun, I got these Sun Wu plush in like a pack. I still remember the pack. Came with a slingshot. I remember many more packs coming with a slingshot. The elastic is dead, so I don't want to pull it, but I have this now. It's it's actually really cool to have an official uh, Angry Birds slingshot. And that's it for the uh, backpack clip and top of the shelf section. Let's move on to the last shelf, shelf number three. We'll start from the top. First off, we have this Changi Chuck. It's a Changi Chuck. Very nice plush to have. It's very soft, actually. Yes, yeah, slightly cartoon character co as usual. The weird thing about the whole cartoon character co thing is that there's no like evidence that cartoon co worked on these. So that's weird. Uh, all right. We also have Changi Bomb. Same with Changi Chuck. I still like to call them Changi because that's what I've been calling them for all these years, and it's local, so woohoo. Behind Bomb is Changi Matilda. And behind Chuck was... Changi Pig, still in the bag. Uh, I took these three out of the bag. I want to get like another set of Changi plush just so I can have some in the bag, some out of the bag. This is a Changi Minion Pig. It just says Changi Airport Singapore on the back. Alright, next up, these three... What are these? These are the LogoNet plush. These were sold in uh, the Angry Birds Activity Park in Johor Bahru before it got closed down. I never got to go there again. I used to go there a lot as a younger child. These were sold there apparently. So this is the LogoNet plush. Look at all these tags. Woohoo. LogoNet promotions. Stella is interesting. Here is the side tag. And now the interesting thing about uh, Red and Stella is that a fellow Angry Birds enthusiast bought them for me. You know who you are. Yeah, uh, special thank you to you for buying these for me. And they have allowed me to complete the set, basically. Or at least the ones in Johor Bahru. And of course, uh, probably my favorite of the three. Logo Net King Pig. Yeah, we finally have a Toons King Pig plush that doesn't cost one thousand dollars. Tush tag. Woohoo! Ah, very nice plush. Very happy to have a Toons plush. All right, last section. Start off with this. This is a reversibles plush. Uh, distributed in Australia. Yep, the iconic Reversibles plush. This one is the one I bought on my own. When I went to Melbourne, we the Reversible is a blue. I'm not going to do it now because I am lazy. Next up, we have one purchase from eBay. It's Reversibles Bubbles. And as you can tell by the zipper, it's inside is a Stella. I'm I'm very pleased with the Reversibles plush. It's a very cool concept. Shame it was only in Australia. But yeah. Ah, yes. My original Christmas blue. Gen 2. Yeah, so uh, this is one of my first ever plushes. It's a reoccurring trend. One of my first few plushes. One of the first few that I used to play with as a kid. Ah. Love this plush. Righto, uh, we have this weird red. It's like an 8 inch, but not really. Is it an 8 inch? No, if you press up, if you press a ruler diagonally, it's not 8 inch. It's like bigger than an 8 inch. It's a weird in between. It's a Gen 2. Uh, some kid scribbled on it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do this. Chungy Blue. My favorite Changi plush. This is a very cool plush. It's a very special plush because it's the profile picture of my alternate channel. Yep. Uh, I love this plush. I want to take it out of its bag. That's why I want to get a second set. We also have on this shelf, you may have noticed just now, new with tags, Jewel with the Pressier tag. 
it doesn't work obviously but yes it is angry birds rio of course side tag i don't think you want to see the price tag but there it is yeah uh i got this in a lot very very affordable for new with tax plush what what else is in the lot nigel it's Nigel. All right, this one's press your tag is kind of scuffed, but it's okay. It's 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 manageable. Side tag is in very good condition. Tush tag. I had to wipe this. It felt dirty to hold. I had to wipe both of them. Yep, only missing uh three more of the, the real plush. Shangy red. I actually have three of these because my mom had three of these. Don't ask how or why. My mom has three, brought home three Changi Reds. Another Changi Red. Changi Red is a very special plush to me. And that leaves us with one last plush that's on the shelf that's related to the collection. Here we have the blue hat. There it is in all its glory. Uh, I had a chance to get one new of tags for 20 United States dollars. But I didn't. Ah, uh, the touch tax cut. Whatever. It's the blue hat. Alright, the, that's the main collection for this room. Let's take you to my mother's room where we store some of my duplicates. Because all of this takes up way too much space and I needed extra space. So yes, let's get to that. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to a different room. So yeah, uh, this is a separate room in the house. Which my mother has graciously let me use to keep some of my plushes. Granted, this room is used for other things. But there's a wardrobe right over there. Keep some of the plush in there. Very grateful. Helps solve the crisis. So first up on this bed, we have a Gen 2 5-inch blue. Complete with tags. Now the press here tag is kind of kind of squished. Kind of very, very sad. So yeah, this plush was from the heart slot to the $30 heart slot. And yeah, it is a Gen 2 Commonwealth Blue New Wave Tags. I put this plush in this room to accompany the 16-inch Jumbo Birthday Stella. What a plush. So yes, here it is. A jumbo-sized birthday Stella halfway across the world from where it's sold. Touch tag, I can barely see it. <laughs> the tail's in the way. You could barely, just barely make out. Yeah, it's it's Jumbo Birthday Stella. Yeah, uh, this is actually, other than Mighty Eagle, my first ever Jumbo plush. And it's the birthday, <laughs> yeah. Yep, so she lives in here on the bed. I've got a plush I need to upload eventually, and it has that. So yeah, those are the two plushes on this bed. Let's go to the top of the wardrobe. Before we open up this wardrobe, we have two more plushes, actually. First up, a jumbo-sized Movie Mighty Eagle. <laughs> Yeah, so this is actually bought from a store 2018 year and it does have sound. As you can tell, it's dead. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But yeah, it's movie mighty. Yeah, it's gigantic. It's enormous. It's so big. The tail and touch tag. Yep. Got the feet. Got its talons here. It's movie mighty. Not the biggest fan of the design, especially the face. Why are his eyes on his beak and not here? But it's a big fluffy plush, and it's one of the last few plush I've bought from a store. So yeah, movie mighty. Likewise, that new with tag blue accompanying birthday Stella to accompany movie mighty, I have selected Christmas pig. New with tags, complete with tags. So yep. Tag. It's New Web Tax Christmas Pig, another another acquisition from Carousel for very cheap. Yes, very happy to have this. Especially a Christmas pig new of tags. 
All right, and now let's open up the wardrobe. So we've got a couple of stuff. We can ignore everything here. Let's dive in here. So for this part of the shelf, I won't be covering any bootlegs. I'll just only be covering interesting Angry Birds items, but not bootlegs, unfortunately. That will be for another video. Now, a general trend from in here is that most of these would come from the third. Let's start out with this. This is Changi Red, another one of three original Changi Reds that I own. Cartoon Character Co. Space Blue. Yep. Tush Tag Reveal. We still do need to know the relationship between Changi Airport and Cartoon Character Co. before we can draw any definitive conclusions. But this one actually still has the side tag. Now, I've tried emailing the email on this. It's defunct, unfortunately. Yeah, mom got this from me. She doesn't remember where she got it from, so... But I'm pretty sure this is from Malaysia because the side tag has rupiah on it. Yep, possibly. Next up, we have a Easter red with a Coles sign tag. This was attained from the uh, $30 hearts listing. What a shocker. Color red bird. We also have... A minion pig. Now, this is one of my only plush that doesn't have a tush tag because this was attained from the same lot that I got my Gen 1 plushes from. Now, there is a sound chip. Doesn't make noise. And also, it's probably not Gen 1 either because the Gen 1 plush don't have sound chips. This one has a sound chip. Speaking of that lot, we have King Pig. Similarly, this was from that lot. No tush tag, has the sound chip. Let's go with one of the newest acquisitions. This is my fifth space pig. Yeah, so I got this in a carousel lot, $40. I'll get more into the other plush that came with this later, but it's really just another space pig. Yeah, the tush tag is kind of... Uh, uh, yeah, the cell, original seller probably didn't take very good care of this. On the topic of Changi Space Pigs, my third Space Pig. Yeah, I've got five of the nerds now. We'll get into the fourth one later. Tags in perfect condition because I ripped this out of this plastic bag. Do I regret it? Yes. Plastic bags truly are my least favorite part of collecting because it puts you in a dilemma whether you want to open them or not. Helmet Pig. What Helmet Pig is this? Sound chip. Gen 2. Yes, even in a different room, you can't escape the classic lot. Yeah, that classic lot has been responsible for a lot of my classic plushes. On the topic of Helmet Pig, another Helmet Pig. This time with tags, and you may recognize this. The, the price tag on the side tag. This was bought in conjunction with my Shelf Minion Pig. Yeah, from the same seller, was decently cheap. The only downside of the plush is that, of course, the side tag. But it's it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Ah, this. This is a Hearts Minion Pig. Guess where I got it from? The $30 Hearts lot. Yeah, I now have a Hearts Pig. Matilda. New with tags, Matilda. Gen 2. You probably can't see it, but I doubt anyone was going to read it. Yeah, this is from the $30 heart slot. Uh, we also have Chugging Iceberg. Tag. Tag. Tush tag. Yep, my Chugging Iceberg. Uh, Changi Iceberg is a plush that means a lot to me because I remember getting mine from the original promotion. This isn't that nice square cube, not really cube, it's not same dimensions on every side. Iceberg. Ah, this is my original Changi Space Red. Yes, this lived next to my bed for many, many years and somehow the tush tag is still in good condition. The Changi and Cartoon Co. character plush are just really another line of plush. Really, you only collect it for the space pigs. Or fat pigs, if you want to call it that. Changi Space Red. Speaking of the originals, Changi Space Terrence, my original one from the campaign. 
still with the site tag, still with the tush tag. Yeah, it's Chungi Space Terrence. Mom got this, mom got uh, Terrence and Red while we were overseas with our paternal figure. Yes, yes. Came back to these. Thank you, mother. Very, very cool. And here we have a weird size bomb. New with tags, site tags in very good condition. Gen 2. Has the barcode tag. Yeah, so uh, it's slightly bigger than a 5 inch, so probably a 6.5, I'd say. This was attained from the $30 hard slot. I bet you're tired of hearing that, because I'm tired of saying it. Also, from the hard slot, we have. Bomb. It's a, a bigger bomb. It's also a good stuffed toys. It's very well stuffed though. Unfortunately, the eye. Yeah, the eyes embroidery got kind of scuffed. I don't know what, when that happened. Tush tags, tush tags, woohoo. Ah, next up we have... Five inch cartoon character Co. Fire Bombard. Yes, finally got, got some of the five inch cartoon character Co. Very cool, originated from Thailand. Yeah, so it is tiny. You want proof? Let's bring up another plush while we're at it. We have Changi Fire Bomb. Yep, you can see. Smaller, unfortunately, no side tag. While we're on the topic, Changi Fire Bomb. Side tag's intact. Tush tag, tush tag, tush tag. Yeah, it's Changi Fire Bomb. The cape is a bit more rigid compared to the uh, the Commonwealth one. It wants to keep staying up. But yeah, it's a very nice plush. You can see the wick. The wick is very well fluffed. And next up we have, let's do two at a time. We have two five inch cartoon character co space reds. Touch tag. Tag. You probably can't read this, you probably won't read it. Yeah, got these two from the same lot as my fifth space pick, as well as that five inch firebomb. We're reaching the end, my friends. Behold! Pink Eye Pig! Gen 2. This, this is from that classic lot. The reason I didn't want to post this, put this in my collection, the eyes. This used to be my main pig plush until I got that tagged one. So yeah, it just lives here as the sound chip. And beneath the pig was a bagged space rent. Got this one in a $50 lot with every single other space plush. Yeah, it's it's basically the space rent in the bag. Changi space blue. Side tag, side tag, touch tag. You saw the cartoon character Ko, it's basically the same thing. It's it's literally a splitting image. It's literally the same size. Here we have Laserbird, Changi Laserbird. Side tag. Side tag. Touch tag. Touch tag. Changi Laserbird. Yeah. Likewise with Firebomb, the cape's a bit more rigid compared to the Commonwealth one where it's very soft. This one just wants to stay in one position and one position only. Also, his uh, top feathers, top feathers, can actually be bent, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to damage it. Here is a bagged space Terrence. It's space Terrence, but bagged. What do you want me to say? Yeah, this was got in the same lot as that Changi Space Red, as well as the Space Blue, Laser Bird, Fire Bomb, and Ice Bird. Also, my fourth space pick is from that lot. And speaking of it. Here it is, my fourth space pig. Ah, space pigs, my iconic item. I actually want to show what's underneath space pig because it's funky, it's very funky plush. This is a blue backpack, a space blue backpack. Tags. Yeah, I never really bothered to research into who made this. Got a nice Angry Birds space zipper. You won't, you wouldn't really use this for storing things because there's, it's literally just a soft toy. 
There is virtually no space to put anything in here. But yeah, this is what you would consider to be a tush tag. So the story behind this is that when I ordered my winter, my original winter blue in 2016, my mom got this alongside it. Now, this plush is the reason that the package was in transit for two months. Amazon said that, that winter blue had arrived, but this hadn't. So we waited for such a long time. And then eventually we just cancelled the order and we shipped it back to Singapore. Now, the thing is, when we got the package, this was there. So we basically got this blue backpack for free. Yeah. Hearts Chuck. It's Hearts Chuck. What, what else is there to say? It's very soft, actually. Hearts Chuck. All right, that's it. And that's actually it for this section of the shelf. Let's move to the top. All right, now I'm going to be pulling plushes down because it's a bit too difficult to record like that. Classic Lot Chuck, Gen 2. His eyes are scary. We also have... <sighs> Chuck, the one that makes noise. Rest in peace. Yep, uh, that's the Trish tag. This was a birthday gift when I was 10, when the Angry Birds movie was just released. This is the same one. The bomb has the sound as well, but ran out of battery. Woohoo. Tail. Tush tag. Yeah, it's got it alongside the Talking Chuck. And we also have Talking Red. Oh, you can just barely hear it. Ah, it's coming to seven years. Yep, got this with Talking Chuck and Bomb. And then we also have White House Leisure Hatchling. For a hatchling, it is gigantic. Came with the uh, Valentine's plush on carousel. Finally, White House Leisure Red Hatchling. Funny story about this one is that we were on a train back to back home and the person in front of us the person standing near us was playing Angry Birds, so I tried to flash this to them. So, I have Angry Bird, hee 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 ha. We have two more plushes I haven't talked about yet. So here is Space Blue, eight inch, and my bubbles plush. Yep, Space Blue is from the Angry Birds online store, hence the washing instructions. Touch tag. And here is my Bubbles plush. Now this Bubbles is purchased from a store called Robinson's, which is now no longer in Singapore. So yeah. So yeah, here is Space Burn Bubbles, if you were wondering. With nothing else to say, I bid you farewell. Have a good day.